Yeah! <laughs> oh yeah, dude. About that crazy trip I went on with some of the jackass guys to go do super dangerous stuff in Florida and the Bahamas. Is it messed up that I'm less afraid of the danger I'm gonna be in than taking my shirt off? What we were doing out there was not for Jackass 4. It was for another company that flew us out there with fancy lay down seats. Plus, they paid for my buddy Jack to have his first lay down experience on a plane ever. So we get to Florida and I took over Poopy's Bumble account, messaging as him. And I'm sending crazy messages like, are you into girls? Do you feast on beaver? And the girl says, oh my God, this is Florida. I'm pretty sure most girls munch beaver. Steve-O did an outstanding job today on trying to get me laid. <laughs> but I did push them maybe too far and poopies did get maybe too drunk. Don't be a fucking <laughs> pussy like this, Coop. <laughs> I can't believe you blew it. So all the opportunities went away. Cribs, you sleep right there tonight, okay? You're so pumped right here. Thankfully, nobody got hurt while we were in Florida. But then we went to the Bahamas. Oh God. Country number 56. I'm loving these stamp in my passport. I cannot legally tell you anything more about what happened in the Bahamas, but it was super messed up. Fuck dude, what did you expect? We came here to take risks, okay? And then we flew home to California. I had to go celebrate my girl's birthday. So I took her to this fancy resort for a spa day with massages. And let me tell you, my girl loves her birthday. We make a big deal out of it every year. Last year I took her drift car racing and she was all about it, not scared at all. Me, not so much. Side note, that drift car racing has got to be the most expensive hobby on the planet because their tires are only good for like two times around the track. But anyway, you know the spa day and the massage? That was just a decoy to keep Lux occupied while my bros and Lux's best friends filled the house with balloons and made a surprise party happen when we got home. What's happening? Hey! 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 I had no idea that these balloons were gonna be such a hit. Lux wanted them all brought down into the bedroom, and Wendy wasn't so sure about it, but little Olive, she didn't give a fuck. She dove right through. Oh my God! <laughs> she straight jumped. Come on, Bern. <laughs> of course we wanted to clean them up at some point. <laughs> And now they're all gone, which means I've just revealed to you that this little narration scene was filmed on multiple days because I'm a psycho. I save my outfits so I can film pickup shots to make every video totally meticulous. And that level of perfectionism mixed with vlogging is a bad mix, but I don't care because I love you guys. And now I'm just gonna tell you what else happened in the week. I went to go hang out with my buddy Tony Hawk and film a new podcast. That's the one going up this week. And Tony Tony gave me a custom Stevo surfboard to thank me for all the money we raised for his foundation, the skate park project. I couldn't be more grateful for Tony Hawk, man. What a legend, what a great guy, and what a bro. And I don't know what the format should be for these vlogs. Please let me know in the comments. But I do know that we are putting in the work for next week. It's gonna be a banger. And thanks to Illuminidal for little Olive's first piece of fan art. They did Olive, Lux, me, and Wendy. Oh, hello, Wendy. I want you to know that I am not proud of my drunk driving arrests but my mug shop from the first one is on a coffee mug and it's only $11.99 at stevo.com. And my mug shop from the second is on a shot glass and it's only $9.99 at stevo.com. Go get one, yeah.